So hello and welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to scrape a website, TripAdvisor. And we're going to do that using Power BI and R, and R script. And uh, not only that, we're also going to create parameters for that R script. So you can then put any URL you want. And we're going to create a function so you can reuse the R script anywhere you want. So packed video. Okay, so Power BI, I do not, I, I lost the source for the R script, I'm so sorry. If you know where it is, just let me know and I'll post the link. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know, but you will be able to download the file so you will get it if you want to test it, okay? So first of all, uh, get data and then you go to R script, okay? Because that's the one that we want to download. R script connect. And now I'm going to paste it. You'll get the R script when you download the file. Sorry about that. I, I just don't know where I found it. So once you have it, um, click OK. And uh, now the R script is doing its magic. It's just going to um, TripAdvisor and grabbing the data and putting it in a table so Power BI can read it. You have to have a data frame all, always when you are creating um, R scripts to import data. And here we have um, the data for some review from some hotel. I don't know. Um, so this uh, exercise is actually quite useful if you want to do sentiment analysis and text analysis and that kind of stuff. Um, so we give it a better name. How about reviews? And uh, now we're going to the first thing, create a parameter for this. So you have both options. So creating, you'll see what creating a parameter does. If we go here to the advanced editor and here you have the URL, it goes from there to there. We're going to delete that. And instead we're going to put a parameter called URL. And you have to have three from the beginning and three from the end together with one of these. So now, so if I click done, it's going to give me an error because I haven't created the parameter yet. So let's go, no, I, sh I should have, I'm thinking so I don't get, because there's a URL already there. Let's put path instead. It's probably no issue, but why gamble? Manage parameters, and then we go new path. And here we need the website path. So let's copy that. So this is the website that we want to scrape the reviews from. We click OK. And as you can see, it's working again. So it works automatically and says, oh, I know now which URL I've got to pick. So if you want to reuse this R script, you just change the value in there, or you can have different URLs, and then you can just you know rotate them. Very useful, right? But how about you have a list of URLs and you want to, you know, fit this. So you want to create a function. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to do it a little bit quick. Either I have videos, YouTube videos on that, or I have my M course. So you can take either of those if you want to learn more about functions. But what we need to do is we go here to the advanced editor. We've done half of the job, really. The only thing we need to do is to get our parameter up, up here so it actually gets asked for. No, not URL, it's path as text because it has to be text. And then you do like that. And here we have our parameter, our function. So now instead of being reviews, it's function reviews. And if I feed this parameter in there, Invoke, ta-da, so good. This is so good. I'm over the moon happy, over the moon happy over this. It's great. But now you know, so go to the download page. There is going to be a number on the title URL. So that's the number you'll grab to, to know which file this is, okay? And this, I have to go through all the old ones and do the same, but Rome was not built on the day, okay? So this one is the first one that will have a number so you know how to identify it. 
And uh, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and you do a lot of amazing things with Power BI. So see you again in the next video. Bye.